going on in um, this event. Now remember, this event initiative is to provide a platform for the market to engage with different stakeholders and groups in the country whilst accelerating public awareness to, uh, of investment opportunities in the Kenyan capital market. Remember now the Nairobi Securities Exchange gained um, almost 42 uh, billion shillings in a couple of weeks after uh, the announcement of uh, President William Ruto. Alright, so we'll be continuing with this even after we conclude now let's cross over and start looking at the stories that we've uh, uh, prepared for you today on business cafe we're going to start with netflix where netflix which is the world's leading streaming service has entered into a partnership with the ministry of tourism and wildlife in a bid to promote kenya as a travel destination of choice globally commenting on this kenya tourism board noted that the ministry through ktb and kws was leveraging the global visibility of netflix to reach potential travelers within the region and across the world now through the partnership netflix will showcase the best of kenya's offerings and highlighting the leading role that kenya is playing in environmental conservation efforts while showcasing the country's tourism opportunities and products positioning the country as a des destination of choice for visitors which is important to us and that is the reason why we engage them even in uh, CSR uh, projects where we will do schools uh, hospitals and other activities with them and also of course uh, activities towards conservation of wildlife because it is these communities that enable us to be able to do this job that we do. Without them, it would not have been possible to do. So we welcome all of you uh, to our parks, uh, and we ask you to Zuru Kenya Parks, because this is your area, this is yours. Uh, this uh, space is for the Kenyans, and they need to be able to visit and enjoy what is out there. There are a lot of gems out there. Come and enjoy them and have fun with them. Now, the competition for smartphones is set to hot up as phone manufacturers battle for market share through new innovations. The latest move by Chinese phone Xiaomi is expected to rattle the market with the launch of a new MI store at this heart of Nairobi's central business district. Xiaomi continues to increase its presence across different towns in the country, even as demand for smartphone devices picks up. Kenya's mobile phone penetration now stands at about 65 percent with cost of devices continuing to drop the device market has been competitive with phone companies rushing to beat competition through new products Now, Global Alliance for Improved Nutrition, GAIN, has recently marked 20 years of its successful operations worldwide. The Swiss-based foundation, launched at the United Nations in 2022, aims to tackle human suffering caused by malnutrition with a laser focus on food fortification of staple foods as one of the strategies to adding more essential nutrients to widely consumed food. Speaking during the 20-year celebration, country director Ms. Le Kagwara emphasized on the government providing clear guidelines on food safety and fortification to consumers in light of the lifting of the ban on GMO foods in Kenya. Before we met GAIN, um, we were producing about um, 30 trays of eggs daily. Um, currently, with GAIN support, we've um, scaled up to um, about um, 200 trays of uh, eggs um, daily. I expect they're going to provide clear guidelines if Kenya is indeed going to go GMO way. How are consumers going to know that food is safe, is fortified? I think that's all Kenyans need. And you have seen even in these celebrations, we are working with the SMEs, small uh, enterprises, the portion millers. We are working with the small uh, inter industries that are doing packaging to ensure that uh, we support them to have the capacity to do the fortification. 
Now, insurance broker Zamara Group has announced plans to invest 100 million Kenya shillings to upgrade its digital capabilities and customer service. The company said the program includes upgrades in its operations and technology, including launching a new online aggregator platform dubbed eZamara that will have a full range of insurance and investment products. The portal will allow customers to compare products from different insurers in one place and create and manage their insurance policy online to increase insurance uptake in the country. For example, if you want to enroll for a motor insurance, just so that you just send a, a one ten percent is okay. But in case you want to do away with that, you can pay by I pay. So in this case I mean the Isamara um, app that has been launched today is one of the things that will take the insurance industry to the next level. It's a marketplace for our clients to have various options while purchasing insurance and other investment plans. It's an opportunity for them to have a self-service option. It is also an opportunity for them to have an effective and efficient way of purchasing insurance. And a significant number of the targeted customers, they are the millennials who are not interested in moving from one place to another. They are looking for a one-stop shop where they can access the products, they get all the services. So this is a great milestone and we, it's our prayer in the authority that it will, it's going to encourage many young people to embrace insurance as a risk management solution. Isamara is our portal that enables any Kenyan to purchase insurance very simply, very easily to be able to look at in different insurance products, compare them, see what the prices are, get advice, have access to a knowledge platform to be able to understand the importance of insurance, life cycle risks, and at the click of a button. Now, the Kenya Medical Supplies Authority, KEMSA, has received a lobbying boost from Makueni Governor Mutula Kilonzo Jr., who has pledged to advocate for uh, 3 billion shillings now a uh, refund for the state commercial agency. Now, the... Uh, when, the, when he flagged off uh, more than 101 million shillings health commodities consignment for Makueni County Health Facilities, Governor Mutula Jr. underscored the need to provide sufficient financial resources to KEMSA to facilitate positive health outcomes. stocking of health commodities and technologies of the county referrals facility here in Makweni town and the last mile delivery of health commodities to all the 240 rural health facilities and 13 hospitals spread across the six Makweni sub counties to lobby for them to get better resources from national government because if KEMSA can give us these drugs within a period of an order, and they said seven days, then no, there should not be a problem in this country. But the COVID theft left a debt of three billion shillings at KEMSA. So I'm asking national government to refinance KEMSA. That is the way to deal with Kenya. Now, the Capital Markets Regulator CMA and Kenya Development Corporation KDC have signed a memorandum of understanding aimed at bridging the financial access gap on SMEs through structured financial services. The memorandum will ensure education, awareness, creation and stakeholder engagements which is meant to improve knowledge levels and uptake of financial products and services. It will also promote commercialization of SME ideas. Business advisory services will also be offered to struggling but promising businesses. Speaking during the signing of the memorandum, KDC Director General Mr. Christopher Hooker said that they are committed to providing sustainable economic development through provision of long-term finance and other financial investment and business advisory services to enterprises in diverse sectors of the economy play a critical role in the economy. These businesses generate new jobs and help diversify the economic base. 
According to data, majority of SMEs die before their second birthday due to lack of access to affordable credit. In looking to bridge the financing gap, Capital Markets Authority has signed a memorandum of understanding with Kenya Development Corporation to facilitate SME access to finance directly through product avenues available in the capital markets. The memorandum signed has among others the following focus areas, promoting SMEs and large enterprises utilization of the capital markets, addressing critical gaps for long-term financing, leveraging technology with a view to increase capital market product uptake, creating a conducive environment for capital market funding, where applicable, offer business advisory services and facilitate information sharing. That this cooperation agreement between Capital Markets Authority and Kenya Development Corporation is aimed at advancing small and medium enterprises, as we know them, SMEs, by enabling the access to finance through the capital markets. SMEs are less likely to be able to obtain bank loans than large firms. Instead, they rely on internal funds or cash from friends and families to initially launch and run their enterprises. In the Kenya Kwanzaa Manifesto, it promises to transform the micro, small and medium enterprises. President William Ruto, in his inauguration speech, pledged to establish a Ministry of Cooperatives and SME Development, mandated to ensure that every small business has secure property rights, access to finance and a supportive regulatory framework. The financial services sector has a very important role to transform the economy and address the challenges faced by SMEs. Access to finance is one of the biggest barriers preventing SMEs from starting, sustaining and growing their businesses. This partnership provides an opportunity for SMEs to access affordable financial products and services tailored to meet their needs. Small and medium-sized enterprises in Kenya continue to face harsh economic times as they strive to recover from the COVID-19 pandemic. In 2021, the SME sector created